Hey guys, thank you very much for joining me today. This is a follow up from my unboxing video. I'll leave a link at the above um, if you want to see a bit more detailed what is in the packaging. Um, so basically if I t take you a uh, some sort of uh, analytical side of it from this video, so I'm gonna show you the cheesy side of it. So this is basically um, your favorite films and shows feels more immersive on this Samsung 4K QLED TV. So you can watch them exactly how the creator intended. Enjoying an optimizing viewing experience with a true to life picture, which gets the most out of every frame with an incredible detail on a quantum HDR 2000 with improved depth from enhanced contrast. You can see everything lurking in the dark shadow and appreciate the beauty of a vibrant colors and bright sync. You get the best visual possible no matter what you're watching with impressive 4K AR upscaling from the quantum processor. Every seat is the best seat in the house with a perfect view from any angle thanks to the glare prevention of the anti-reflective screen. We're going to share with you some features that are very unique to the Samsung Q95T. So the first thing that I tend to go for is the image um, options, which is um, at the moment is currently under dynamic, which is very vibrant color. But actually I would go for the standard or the movie mode. So this is the natural picture color. You've got the movie style, which is a bit darker, but um, it's one of the best in my opinion. Uh, if you are in a very well lit environment, then it's best to go for the dynamic mode, which is this mode. So other than that, uh, we've got the sound mode here. So this has got the Dolby, Dolby um, Vision and Dolby Sound. Um, so I'm not gonna go great detail uh, in that sense. Again, basically this is smart 4K uh, quantum dot TV. It comes with so many um, options. It has over thousands of apps where you can download to your TV. Um, so it has basically the Android supported. So you need to sign into your Google account where you can download so many things. So if I take you back to the home page and show you the current favorite apps. So you've got the YouTube, You've got the Samsung for the kids. It has Netflix, Prime, iPlayer, iTV, Apple TV. It has, you, you just mentioned it yourself. It's crazy the fact that you have all of these options. Um, so for example, let's say that you are favorite app. It's far away and you wanna bring it closer to the homepage. So you just need to hold the button and then move. You, just click that move and then you can move it to wherever you want to move. So you can see how easy it is to navigate. So if that's where you want it to be, or if you want it to be number one, you just drop it there. So that's there straight away. So this is the ambient mode. So once we click the ambient mode, it basically tries to mirror your wallpaper and is very smart. And it basically um, goes through some sort of a guide what you want it to show. So you, it's really amazing that once you're not watching your TV, you could have so many things to show on your wallpaper. So for example, because of the TV is edge to edge, it has that. So we're gonna start that ambient mode. Um, so it's trying to detect what sort of a style that I want to go for. So it goes through my deco. So I could leave this as it is. And in my opinion, this is amazing. Like it's very refreshing. Um, you've got different colors, the lights. You've got different colors with the lights that you can uh, modify or play with. So it's like LED RGB lights. So you could have that your ambient mode or you could actually increase the, uh, the brightness or the saturation. It has so many um, color tone. It has so many options. So it's amazing so you could have it as an album art so background theme again 
it has all of these options. So my favorite I would go for, it was the deco. And then I also like the fact that um, album. So this is amazing, the screen photos. So it's trying to download um, a some sort of a content for me to um, display it here. And then it gives me so many options. In the morning, you could have something like this that just basically soothes you down and then wakes you up really nice and calm within the deco you've got so many things so we've got the light grid that i have showed you earlier and if i take you back so this is like my favorite the light grid so if i take you back and show you other options that you could have within the deco so once you go up there you've got the skylight and it's trying to download the content again. And you could have it so many things, it's totally up to you again. So the fact that you have all of these options, it's amazing. So within the deco, you've got all of these options that you could go for. If I take you back to Netflix and share with you a couple of movies where it's insane the way that they uh, show up As I've already mentioned from my unboxing video, um, so this TV is a uh, 65 inch TV. And if you haven't seen my uh, first video of unboxing, I'll leave a link above. So this TV comes a price tag of literally just under 2000. So that's 2000 pound, um, not US dollars, but if you are in US, so it shouldn't be that far off from those figures. So in my opinion, would I go ahead with Samsung compared to Sony? Um, I would say there are some things that the Samsung has that Sony does not provide, which is the sound quality itself. The Sony has uh, extra things in terms of the image, which is OLED rather than QLED. So QLED and OLED is completely different. So the QLED has is positive, which is the darkness is immensely dark where you can see everything from the shadow. Um, the QLED is not that vibrant. So again, the Samsung has a better sound quality. Image quality, I would go for OLED rather than QLED. Um, so the Sony, I might think of um, grabbing it as something, a larger TV rather than the 55 inch, which I previously owned. So I might go for 65 or 75 inch. So 65, currently it fits really perfect on my current um, TV setup. 
if I'm going to go ahead with uh, anything above or larger than 65 it has to go on the wall um, that's just because purely um, for space purpose so again my living room can accommodate that um, my set setup currently it's a little bit far from the TV so it's not that tedious the Samsung 2000 it's not bad compared to the current Sony that I previously had which was 1700 so it's not big variance if you found this video useful do let us know by hitting the like button if you didn't like it um, you could always um, leave us a comment to tell us what or what sort of information that we've missed out um, ultimately the purpose of this video is to make your decision easy and for those who are watching for entertainment purpose i hope that you did enjoy this video if you're new here consider subscribing um, as always um, i sign up with my peace and love um, till next time stay safe